Hello everyone, I'm back with another Solane play-by-play. This time we're going to be playing Boon Hots, Hoon Bots, the uh, monkey god. And um, the reason I'm playing it is because, well, it seems like people really want me to play it, but also there's a, sp a specific viewer of mine who apparently has his marriage collapsing because I can't get a Humbats gameplay for the YouTube. So today I'm going to try and fix that. I'm going to try and reconcile that relationship and uh, get a Humbats game for you guys. So... Humbats is interesting. He's kind of uh, not too viable in solo, but he's fun to play there, and uh, he can work really well with a bruiser ability. He has four damage ability. He's a nice passive. Um, this guy's been messaging me a lot, so I'm just going to mute everyone on my team. Just, like, spamming me. You know, I responded. Anyway, uh, so yeah, he can make a pretty good use of a bruiser build, and then he also has four damage ability, so he can heal for, like, Glad Shield and Soul Eater. And I actually like Soul Eater on him, but the problem is use a lot of mana on him, so I actually am going to go Transcendence this game. Do something a little bit different, a little bit outside the box, or at least for Hunbats, and uh, I think I'm going to be going Blink as well. A little bit uh, uh, risky to do, but um, I always talk about it. If you go a little bit of power in your build early on, you're able to clear a little bit better, so you can forego going TP sometimes, especially if you know how to play around it and get the pressure to be able to back for free without losing minions and stuff, so. Yeah, let's see if we can... Uh, Make this guy's wife love him again with this Hunbats gameplay. We'll see how it goes. I've already gotten tried to get a few Hunbats gameplays, but of course they're just stomps. F6 is at 10, so. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, we'll see what, who we're against, leaning against. It's probably going to be Ardeo, which is a little bit rough. Not too fun. This is a long cooldown. This is, I guess, one second lower. Um, one odd thing about the. Uh, why did he insta kill the shrine? You need to stack that up. One thing about the Humbat solo is that you kind of have to walk to the side of the wave to clear. Which can be a little annoying sometimes. I'm gonna run over to my blue. Pretty good clear. So you can start lane pretty easily if you have uh, power. Get that up. What the heck? Okay. I don't really know what happened there. Definitely have enough pressure for Totem. I'm gonna grab my three. Ardeo's still level 1. She must have missed some minions in lane. She's gonna have a lot of pressure right now. She's got a lot of pots and uh, has Warrior's Blessing, so... is one of the few uh, Guardians with pretty good early pressure in solo. I avoid that. Don't really mind it too much, though. Gotta let her have pressure early on. Then hit me with the root. The honesty should probably just be hitting me a ton. A little bit of poke here. I'm gonna try and auto cancel as much as possible on Hunbats because of your uh, passive. The more autos you leave in between, the better. On every god, but especially on Hunbats because you get a Hydra's basically every auto or every uh, ability. Only way I can kill her is if she like messes up and doesn't use her pots and doesn't sustain enough through her abilities. I can poke her out really hard, but probably not gonna happen. Get this totem, unfortunately. I get a little bit of life steal in tier two soul eaters, so that's nice. Oh, wait, <laughs> I have tier two trans. <laughs> I thought I was playing like I was playing last game the soul eater. That's okay. I have enough boxes to sustain up. We max into two, obviously. Even though early on she's gonna have a lot of pressure on me, this isn't too bad of a matchup just because she has no CC immunity, so my ult will get some pretty good value, and I can wait for her dash to cancel it with my ult. Not looking to invade here, and I'm just gonna burst this down. Ever since they added that extra bounce to Humbats 3, it's really good jungle clear, as you can see. Basically just one-shot that thing. I'm sure power's helping as well. So the next totem's probably around 3... Th I didn't get the exact timer, but 320 or something like that. If there's anything bad here, maybe we can kill. If you look for it. Might be a kill. Nice. Always be uh, around that corner looking for the uh, kill if, if they're low, or if you just feel like you want to poke them out. A lot of times they won't expect it, and 
Right there, I kind of just was waiting, waiting for the dash, like I said before, if I needed to catch it, which I didn't. Right now, I have enough pressure to back, but I also have enough pressure to get Totem Man back, probably. Only issue is I'm not running back with full boots. So that's one downside to rushing Transcendence or like Soul Eater or whatever item you're rushing that isn't a movement speed item. If you don't have TP, then you're going to have to run all the way back. But it's not too big of a deal. I'll probably miss three minions. I'll probably still get the archers. Hopefully. I could always just use my blink, but I kind of want to save that. No big deal. I have a lot of kill potential with blink ult, so... I'll get two minions. Not too bad. Remaining counts, but... Um, one... Th I mean, since I killed her, she could just TP back in, and I always... Oh. Oops, awkward. I always say, if you die with your TP up, it's like you never died, because you just literally straight back in the lane. And then she got straight back in the lane and had enough pressure to, uh... Literally push her waiver on my turn. It's rough, but it's just something you gotta play around. I'm gonna keep poking her. The later this goes, the better. More kill potential I have. Actually, I actually have a lot of kill potential here. Down. Bounce my three off this. Oh, it went back to the totem. He's gonna be slowed after that. Eh. The blue is up, so I might might look for that. Who's their jungler? It's Alphash. Oh hell yeah, I'm looking for that. Build this game's probably gonna be transcendence boots, runic shield, or and silence. That was not too bad, honestly. Okay. Alphash. I actually might be able to. Get a kill here, especially if Alposh comes into the jungle. I'm actually just gonna blink out this the entire way. Nice. Might die for this. Gotta be a little bit awkward here. Trade the kill! No! The one came out! That's unfortunate. That was pretty close. Took a lot of damage from minions probably as well, yeah. 253 from Bo. That's pretty close. It was worth going for, obviously. Probably maybe not worth to uh Trade my life there, but I got Oplash Hole. He's really low. He's not gonna be able to do much, and we're getting his back off of it. Oh, get that kill. Oh, you hate to see it, chat. Chat. YouTube, you hate to see it. YouTube, how the fuck are you doing? Anyway, um, but I'll be able to go to my blue buff here, and obviously going for that is worth it because I had the opportunity for the double kill. Maybe I could have killed him there if I just sat there and auto attacked him the whole time and then two. I kind of delayed it, and then his one came back up, I believe. Not really sure, but no big deal. Stacking up this trans. I was able to get tier two boots plus a chalice, so that's a worthwhile back for sure. That feels good. Oops, I'm lagging a little bit this morning. Dash away. I'm gonna put my vision shard down on his blue. Try and get the timer on it. Everyone's probably yelling at me to use my vintage shard. Everyone always does, and I don't really use it that much. It's kind of useless, to be honest. But it, if you're going to place it, it's good for getting it. timer on blue, timer on backs. And also, it's really good to place. I'll show you in a second. Oh, I couldn't hit him plus the wave. Always got to try and do that with the two. It's really good to place, like, right here where the jungler will be looking for a gank. A lot of times, they'll just sit there and wait. Oh, dang. I'll flash it over there. I wanted to kind of look for that blue. At least I'll get the timer on it. Aw, oh, I want to avoid that. I want to try and space for her abilities. Oh shoot, that's awkward. Team, teammates here. Oh no, you gotta hit those, bro. The second one in a row. Maybe I can kill this, uh, off -wash. I have blink. Probably expecting the blink. She even made it to that blue. Oh, get him! On my way. Take the carpet, the speed, the speedy carpet. Eh, I'm not gonna go there. Maybe I can help him out. He's out of mana. He crippled me though, so I can slow him. This might be a kill. That's yeah, a kill. Nice. Oh, trying to avoid this. Be careful. Be able to get kill here. Ooh. Oh! Jump away! <laughs> Agni might be dead, but I'm not. That's all I care about. 
Oh, he lived. Wow. I think he Aegis. Good Aegis. Got off. Unfortunate. Can't go the uh, tier one or runic, which isn't too bad. What? Ten of each? Okay. I thought it was a little bit better than that. <laughs> Enchanted Buckler. All right. So obviously we're gonna be going beads probably second. They have a lot of CC and uh, the whole point of going blink as a first relic is that you can get an actual useful second. So. Okay, we kill this guy. Yep. This Opwash is constantly in this lane for some reason. I guess Ardio wasn't here, so him kind of getting that farm while Ardio wasn't there was probably smart by him. I should be able to get there blue because Ardio is all the way in, all the way on right. What is she doing over there? This is why I like Transcendence more than Soul Eater because you just spam your abilities so much that uh, you run out of mana really fast. You go in really fast with Soul Eater, even though it gives you mana. It doesn't give you any MP5 and not nearly as much mana as a Transcendence does. So. Now their boxes is here. Everyone's coming over to keep this lane in check. Just gonna keep up the pressure. Gonna play up in lane. I, I full clear now with my two, as long as I hit the minions with it. I, don't, I take a lot of damage from tower, so I don't want to take this tower shot. Put this guy pretty hard. Is he gonna try and group up the wave and flop it? Oh, what the heck? This guy's confusing me. Nice. Everyone's all in my lane, aren't they? Careful with your uh, vision chart as well. You don't want to use it when you can get a second relic because it actually will keep the cooldown on your second relic. No damage. Hey, Hebo, you can leave now. No problem. Oh, back into the outpost. Oh, this is awkward. I have my blink up if she dashes me. Maybe we can outplay her here. Pop a multi pot just in case. I can't believe this Hebo is still here. Fucking bad says. Nice. Get credit for the wave as well. Kind of just an arena match in my lane, isn't it? Your middle tower is under attack. Oh, cleared. Runic shield is 2150, right? Gosh, that's so cheap, man. I was about to say, I'm gonna have to save up a little bit more and I can get my beads. Ooh, what a back. Probably could have sold my multi pot for a ward as well, but who, who wards? You guys should ward. But who wards, really? But definitely ward. I suggest warding, it's very important. So now we got our beads. Now we're in a really good spot. I mean, I'm gonna do so much damage, I'm gonna be pretty tanky. I mean, they have three, four magical. They literally have four magical, so I'm gonna get a ton of value out of this Runic shield in this early game. Let's just turn them up. Oh, I've missed way too many threes this game. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not paying attention. That. Not afraid at all. I can literally be jumping over walls for whatever I want. That's what you gotta do once you get a lead and are tanky and have tank items, start abusing it. Start, start doing whatever you wanna do. It'd be really annoying for the enemy team. Obviously, they're not even here, so it's not too annoying for them. But. It's gonna be annoying when you couldn't see this is gone. <laughs> Let's see if I can rotate over here, catch this wave like a surfer. Gotta hit that once. Oh no, I don't. That was in our troops. Get a lot of farm here. I might be able to clean up. Oh, the red's up. Do that on the way. Some blink ults over this wall. Bacchus doesn't put me in combat. A little bit careful. I have minions taking this, so I can. Oh, nah, I just gotta back up. Oh, he missed this horrific. I jumped it. That's pretty good. It's fine with me. I'm gonna back now. Actually, maybe I can let this box is back and then go on this soul. Yeah, got a mana. I'm just gonna run away. Maybe if I walk in the jungle, she'll play up. Eva's cover my lane, so I'm. I have plenty of time to do this. Oh shoot. That's their support. Who is that? Is their ADC? Or support? I don't know what's going on with that. I think it's their ADC, yeah. So usually it was, I actually kind of like glad shield on uh, on bats because again you have four damaging abilities. But uh, let's go a breastplate. 
that CDR up. CDR up. CDR is really important on him bath. Obviously more ults. More uh, of your regular abilities as well. Just spam and really jump around and be a monkey in a team fight, you know? Be a nuisance. I'm gonna be going breastplate. I guess they only have one physical, so maybe this isn't the greatest. Yeah, in fact, it's probably not good. I take back what I said. This is what autopiling on zero sleep looks like, chat. Chat? See? It's even worse. YouTube. Probably shouldn't be going breastplate, to be honest. But, I mean, it's not the end of the world. I can sell it. I need to. I think Urchin probably would have been better. Delaying some CDR, which isn't good, but Urchin is just so good for being tanky. Bachi would actually have been pretty nice this game, because it's like a nice little physical defense power spike, but I don't have to invest a lot of gold into it. I can honestly just keep this tier 2 breastplate for a lot of the game. If I can rotate to mid here. To this soul. Nice. A lot of times it's awkward when you um, ult somebody and then three them during it if there's like minions nearby because it'll just bounce to them and then you can't get that auto cancel off. But sometimes you can just sit there and keep auto on him. About to do this op wash. Am I slow soon? Beats that. I don't know re really what I beats there. I thought the Yardio was a little bit closer so I just wanted to stay CC immune so I could get it and get out but... Ended up being a little bit away. Tier 2 of this is honestly good for defense for a lot of the game, especially against the physical. Or one physical. I'm gonna keep trying to farm. Up the pressure that I have. Get it back. Evo is always in my lane. I guess we'll do this. Go ahead and do this. Take back what I said. And then uh, I'm gonna be working on another mat, like a true magical defense item, probably like a Genji's, because I need some magical D for their uh, their mages. Runic Shield's gonna be good for a lot of the game, but Genji's into Heartseeker really isn't too bad. This game, I can always sell my boots for like a uh, mantle. Plus, I mean, even though I won't be incredibly tanky, I'll do a lot of damage, and the fact that I'll have a lot of CDR will make it really hard to kill me. Because I'll have a defensive active, I'll be pretty, um, pretty, uh, cruisery. That's a thing. And then I can always just monkey around in the team fight with my movement abilities. Avoid the root. And save my ult for her dash. Unless she stuns me before, that's good by her. Alright, I don't think she knows the timer on her blue. She sees it spawn right now. Doesn't matter, I'm just gonna do it anyway. Ooh, left at 1 HP. If she came over with a 3 and just one-shot it. That would have been awkward. Up farming when I can. Wouldn't be too bad to actually push that left wave again, but... Oh, speed is up! Push this and maybe even go grab the mid wave and then go back to my lane and catch it in the middle of the lane because that's where she's pushing it. Get these mids are up as well. Once you get some CDR going on unbats and some levels into your abilities, because it actually lowers the cooldown on these two. Let's get some ability or er, levels in those. You just start monkeying around, like I said. I said it ten times now, but it's true. Seventeen minute totem, classic. Looks like the wave pushed in her favor pretty hard, so I actually didn't even get credit for it. Level twenty at seventeen twenty-seven. Write it down. Mark it. Now I'm 100% just going to be roaming around. We're sitting at 40% CDR when we have our blue buff 30 without it, so it's pretty good. Pretty good build. Full CDR again is kind of the way to go. To, way to go. And when you have full CDR on the uh, and bruisers, bruiser items, and um, you have four damaging abilities, you actually will end up doing a ton of damage. Just because it, you just keep you keep cycling through those damaging abilities, the the round of them, the whole four. Hello. Oh my friend, oh I missed my auto cancel. Doesn't matter. But you just keep cycling through those abilities and uh, you get so much of them off in a team fight because you're so tanky. Thank you. You're so tanky that you ended up doing more damage than you would have if you had a damage item. Over towards this soul. Probably threw it away. Yep, she threw it away from this agony, so I should have a kill here. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm so stupid. It hit the wall. 
Obviously that ability does not go through walls, so. Can't put two aggro here, they're gonna F6. Gotta be careful around walls with that ability, and a lot of other abilities, but you right can clip the wall and then it'll just disappear. Still stealing my mid laner farm when I'm level 20, hell yeah. An ally has been slain. On my way. Potato over here. Team's kinda getting wrecked. And honestly just do gold if we really wanted to. Oh, Najon's playing it. Okay with me. Oh, it's gonna bounce. Nice, good stuff. Oh, that was a good wall. Nice job. Attack to gold fury. Beware of the jungle man. No! <laughs> I hate that. You can bounce to the uh, the sacred monkey, the three right away. But sometimes it's tough on high ping. So what I mean by that is if you throw your three at something and then it's gonna bounce to something else, if you click three right away, it'll actually uh, stop and not bounce to the next person. You'll, you'll teleport right away. But on higher ping, it's a little bit rough. So if we run out this build with a heart seeker, the fact that we have full CDR and we'll get a ton of abilities off in the team fight, we're just gonna one-shot everyone, do whatever we want. Their team comp. Team comp has made it really easy to itemize against, obviously with only one physical. Keep up the farm, try and get up to our 3100 goal for our Heartseeker. Like they're getting owned in duo. Kind of just constantly fighting over there, aren't we? And then lanes. I got a tier 2 for this, probably. Heartseeker off this. Oh no, minions get here. Nice, they got here in time for me to not tank. Gonna back down. Need a little bit more gold for Heartseeker. Minions, yes, let's go. This is just too clean, isn't it? Two in right or left. They can probably win that fight right now. And we're full build. Let's go. A couple of pretty cheap, effective, cost effective items in Runic and Glad Shield. Um, and obviously boots, but the other three items are... I guess Genji is pretty cheap. Heartseeker is definitely not, neither is Transcendence. Probably could have pushed out mid here, but we're just fighting non-stop in this lane, so maybe we can go over there and kill everyone. Oh, nice. Good stun. No. Did I catch Ardio? No, I wanted to... I thought Ardio was dashing towards us, so I ulted. I was gonna um, catch her with that. Oh, it was blocked. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, he's all. Probably not worth the beads that, but I have a ton of pressure now. Oh no, she barely got in range of that. Nice, I timed that well. Kind of just a feels thing, timing that soul three going out. That's the only way to describe it, I feel like just playing enough and playing enough against like certain gods, for example, like <laughs> like using ults off of like setups for like Kumba ult or Neja ult. A lot of people always ask like, how do you know when to exactly do it? But it's really just a feels thing and playing the game a lot. I'm sorry. Talk like a baby to make try and make him feel better. But really I I love killing my enemies and destroying them and feasting on their blood, so Attack Monkey Oof, the amount of gold I just got sounded amazing. Your right tower is um, under hello Aplash. Oh no! Genji's procced. Can't be missing your autos off your abilities. Well, Penta time. Oh damn. 
Oh my goodness. I hate to see it. Ah! Crippled. Oh, he's gonna chase me down. Is he gonna blink on me? Ah! Help me! Give me anything! <laughs> that was awkward. Okay, that was a little trouble by me. To be honest, I shouldn't have gone back in, but I was trying to meme on him, you know? The verb of meme. To meme. I was attempting to meme. I was in the, in the pursuit of a nice chuckling meme. I could have played that all better. I keep missing my auto cancels. I, I'm telling you, it's the no sleep and the fact that I'm uh, I'm kind of lagging. I'm not gonna lie. And this isn't one of those. What the hell, lag? You know what I mean? This is like, wow. I actually might be lagging. I know it says 80 ping, but it doesn't feel like that. You know, it's one of those fake ones. Everybody hates a fake one. All right. 1500 pot. We will get a uh, a seventh item this game. We should just group them to do objectives though. A golden fire. Attack the gold fury. Attack by a giant. People are probably asking, fine. How come in your coaching videos you say you should focus on objectives and not do this and that, but in your games you like to mess around and kill people and have fun. Well, the answer to that is that those games are supposed to be taken serious and helping you to try and improve. I'm just messing around, having fun. Well, also, also trying, but, you know, teaching things and having fun. So it's the wombo. You just should group up and do fire. Do a ton of damage to it. Artemis is a little bit behind, though, so... Try and escort her out. Ton of damage. My Genji's proc again. Try to get a nice use of my ult there. With Humbat's ult, you want to try and um, place it where you'll hit a lot of people with it. Get as much CC off in the middle of a fight. It's really big, so it's easy to do. But. Oh no. I walked into that with my um, watch 3 on me. Guess we should just do mid tower. Oh no. Did I avoid that? Nope. Oof. Barely just turned around. Awkward. We don't really have our team here. We have an Oni wave now, though. You guys, are you can me? No. Nice. Might be able to end the game here. Oh, get him! Oh, not quite. Don't die, Terra. I might own five. We should be able to end. Come on, Titan boys. No, we can't do it with them doing that. That's a kill. Oh, I didn't hit the slow. Oh, we had to try and burst him down before he killed our art. Attack the Titan. Uh, this was an arena game for sure, chat. Chat? I'm sorry. GG. Hopefully, we were able to reestablish this relationship for our poor, poor viewer with this Hunbats gameplay. I don't really play Hunbats a lot in solo, so... Um, it's kind of just, uh, we're kind of just freestyling it. I have played it in the past and it's fun, so I don't mind it, but we really were just doing it for you guys because we're kind of a, uh, I'm kind of just, I'll just go ahead and say it. I'm kind of a, a God request slut now. I just play whatever you guys want me to. So hopefully that was good enough for you guys. We did 40k damage. It was a fun game. It was a bit of an arena game, but if you want to see more God requests like this video, and uh, maybe we'll maybe we'll do um, whatever comment has the most likes. I'll do another play-by-play -play for or at least gameplay for. 
in the next video. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. I love you all. Bye.